Hey guys, welcome to Pursuit Kids Online. I'm Miss Carrie and I'm so excited to share all that we're gonna be learning about today. In pre-K and in large group, we're gonna talk about how we can use the tools that God gives us to stand strong. But before all that, we get to praise and worship. So get ready to stand to your feet, get ready to lift your hands and dance with us because worship starts now.
Hey guys, today in Pre-K we're learning about the armor of God and how we can use it to stand strong. Get ready because your video starts now. Ooh, ooh. You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Hi friends, it's Zoe. And I can't wait to see what my auntie sent me for my birthday. What are these? Oh, they're jingle bracelets. I'm gonna try one on. Hi friends, listen to my bells. I'm gonna put on another bracelet. Let's see what it sounds like if I clap. Will you clap with me? Put your hands out and clap. Let's clap high. Now let's clap low. Great job. Let's see what it sounds like if I shake these bracelets to music. Music player Melody, play Jingle Bells. Playing Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. This is so fun. Hmm. What should I do with the rest of these bracelets? Oh, I know. I could put them on my ankles. First foot. Next foot. Jingle, jingle. Oh, this is tricky. Now the other foot. Jingle, jingle. I wonder if I do jumping jacks, I can make all the bells jingle at once. Count five jumping jacks with me. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Jingling and jangling, are you? Hi, Ollie. I am. I love these fun jingle bracelets I got from my auntie. Jingle bracelets are fun. It's true. I know something you can put on, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Look at what I have cooking today. Cool, right? They're my apple armor cupcakes. This one has a little helmet. This one has a little shield. I made them for our story today. Are you ready to hear it? Then on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Oh, wow, look at all the soldiers. What are they wearing? They are wearing armor. Soldiers would put armor on whenever they went into battle. Armor like this would protect them. So cool. <laughs> the Bible teaches us that God gives us armor too. It's true. We can put our armor on every day to help us remember to trust God and go his way. Here, let me show you. Do you know what this is? It's a helmet. That's right. Now, where does a helmet go? On your foot? <laughs> no. On your elbow? No. Where does it go? On your head. That's right. OK, everyone pretend to put on your helmet. Ready? 
<laughs> awesome. God says when we remember that Jesus is our friend forever, it's like putting on a helmet. We always want to remember that Jesus is our friend. Okay, now look at this. It's a breastplate. Do you know where this goes on a soldier? On their chest. That's right. It protects their heart. Okay, let's pretend to put one on by thumping our chest. Ready, go. God says when we choose to go God's way, it's like wearing a breastplate to protect us. We always want to remember that God's way is perfect. Okay, last one. <laughs> Do you know what this one is? A shield. Yes, a soldier holds it on their arm so they can block things that might hurt them. Let's pretend to hold our shields. <gasps> Oh no, here come some arrows. Hold your shield up. Great job. <laughs> God says that when we trust him, it's like holding a shield up to protect us. We always want to remember to trust God. So now we've got a helmet, a breastplate, and a shield. And do you know what else you've got? You've got God's word, the Bible. <laughs> you can read this every day and it will teach you how to go God's way. And remember, God's way is the best way so we can trust God. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God, yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God's armor protects us and teaches us how to live, too. Thanks, Dolly. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, we could put our armor on every day to remember to trust God and go His way. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Now, every time I put on these bracelets, I can remember about the armor of God. Music player Melody? Yes. Play fun dance music. Playing dance music. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, today in large group, we're gonna talk all about how we can find our confidence in God. And Paul encourages us to allow God to make us strong. That's right. We don't have to do this life on our own. And remember, the bottom line is, is that we can use what God gives us to make us strong. So get ready, because your video starts now. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning to and today I'm doing the limbo. I tried to do it at a birthday party last week and I knocked the bar right off. So I'm gonna practice and get better. To do the limbo first, you have to put a bar up like this. Then, you need fun music. Music player, Melody. Yes, Kai. Please play limbo music. Playing limbo music. Then you walk under the bar with 
without knocking it down. Everyone take a deep breath with me. Ready? Here it goes. Yeah, I did it! Do you think I can put the bar lower? Shout yes if you think I should go lower. Okay, let's try it. Here I go. Whew, that was close. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Doing the limbo, are you? I am, Ollie. I walked under the bar two times without knocking it down. That's some fancy walking. It's true. I know someone else who took an amazing walk, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Look at this. There's a hole in my toy boat. If I put this in the water, it would sink. <laughs> Which reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Oh, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with... Jesus. <laughs> While Jesus was here on earth, he did things to show us how much God loves us how God hears us when we pray, and how God is always with us. And we can always trust God. Today's story is about a time when Jesus showed his friend Peter that he can trust God. And it begins with a boat on the water at night. Jesus' friends were out on the water when all of a sudden, they saw something they had never seen before. They saw a person walking on water. Everyone say, what? Ready? What? Who can walk on the water? Well, the person got closer and closer and closer, the disciples were so afraid. <laughs> Show me your afraid face. <laughs> yes. And then, all of a sudden, the person said, it's me, don't be afraid. It was Jesus. <laughs> right away, Peter said, Jesus, if it's you, tell me to walk to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out of the boat, and guess what? Peter started walking on the water too. But then, Peter looked around and saw the wind. <gasps> he got scared and started to sink. But Jesus reached out and caught him so he wouldn't sink. Then they got back in the boat together. <laughs> Jesus showed Peter and the disciples that we can always trust God, even when scary things happen. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time. <laughs> So there's your story, and it's all true. 
Jesus showed Peter how to trust God, and we can trust God, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. Jesus showed Peter how to trust God when he stepped out of the boat and walked on water. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to keep walking under this limbo stick. Melody, let's limbo! I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, I hope you had so much fun worshiping with us and that you learned something new from your Bible story. You can keep up with us on Facebook and find out anything happening here. And don't forget, you can rewatch your Bible stories anytime on YouTube during the week. Until next time, bye.